Larry Jones is the Director of Stewardship Development at First Baptist Raytown. He enjoys speaking on the topic of legacy building and making an impact in others' lives. In today's speech, Larry will share three ways we can take difficult circumstances and leverage these moments to grow in our personal development. Larry's speech title is Harnessing the Power of the Hinge Moment. Please help me welcome Larry Jones. I'm holding here in my hands a basic hinge. This simple machine has been around for thousands and thousands of years, and it's everywhere. It permeates our society. In fact, we take it for granted each and every day. The doors we walked in today are supported by hinges. They're on the doors in our homes. They're on the cabinet doors in our bathrooms and our kitchens. They're even on the appliance doors in our kitchens, like our refrigerators, our ovens, microwaves, and dishwashers. They're on our car doors and garage doors. They're in our office building doors. Everywhere we go, we find this simple little machine, the hinge. And what does a hinge do? A hinge allows us to pass from one place to another. For example, from this room, we travel through a set of hinges and go outside. Or if we were to go home, we would pass through a doorway, a set of hinges to go inside the house or from inside our car to outside our car. It allows us to travel from point A to point B, one place to another place. But a hinge also makes us eight times stronger than we actually are. Let me give you an example of that. If we were to go down to our local bank and we were to walk to the back of that bank to the vault room, we would go into the vault room and see this massive, huge steel heavy door weighing thousands of pounds. This heavy door would be supported by one or two really large hinges. And I could walk over to that big heavy door and just with one hand and one arm, I could simply move that door back and forth. Thousands of pounds with one hand and one arm, simply based on the power that this hinge gives me. It makes us eight times stronger than we actually are. Our modern life hinges upon hinges. But you know what? Our lives also hinge upon hinge moments. When I speak of hinge moments, each and every day we encounter little hinge moments. When I speak of a hinge moment, I mean where we're traveling down life's path, an event or circumstances come across our path, and it takes us into a different direction than we were not expecting. Now, these happen each and every day, small little hinge moments, take us off in different directions. But what I'm speaking more about today are the big moments in our life. A handful of things that happen from birth to death that hinge us into completely different directions that we weren't expecting. Now, these can be positive events. For example, the start of a new relationship, a new job, a business opportunity. Very positive life events that take us into a different direction. Today, though, I want to spend more time talking about the challenging, difficult hinge moments that we run into in our, in our lives. For example, the death of a loved one, a job loss, a bankruptcy, a divorce. These are negative hinge moments that take us into a completely different direction that we were not expecting. For example, in my own life, almost five years ago, beginning in April 2009, I walked through my own very difficult hinge moment when my wife of 10 years at that time decided she no longer wanted to be married to me. She wanted to go out and live a single life again. And that threw my family, my two young daughters and myself, into complete chaos and turmoil. We didn't know what to do or how to get through that time. But over time, things changed. The hinge moment happened and I started off into a different direction. And I've learned some valuable life lessons along my journey. And today I would just like to share with you three ways that you can harness the power of your own hinge moment, change your life forever, and hopefully come out better on the other side as a result. So the first life lesson that I've learned in my own hinge moment and harnessing that power is that I learned to humble myself and ask for help. 
humble myself, and ask for help. Now, as a staff pastor at a church, this was a very difficult thing for me to do. Pastors, we're supposed to have life figured out. Our lives are supposed to be quote-unquote perfect. But you know what? We're people just like you as well. We have our own set of challenges and difficulties. And so I had to humble myself. And I'm the type of person that doesn't like to ask people for help. I, I'm the kind of guy that likes to pull myself up by my own bootstraps and do everything myself. I don't want to bother you with my problems. But every once in a while in life, a problem comes along where we cannot handle it ourselves. And we must reach out and ask others for help. So I humbled myself. I went to our senior pastor. I went to my boss. I even stood before the groups that I lead in my church, the choir and the orchestra. And I said, I have a major problem in my family, and I need your support and your help. And you know the amazing thing that happened is they loved on me, and they supported me, and they helped me through that difficult time. They cooked meals for me and my daughters. They provided free child care when I needed help in that area. My girls were eight and six at the time. And it was an amazing outpouring of support. But not only did I get help from my family and my friends, but I also reached out to a professionally trained counselor. Again, I'm not the type of person that would necessarily go out and seek counseling, but I knew at that moment, in that incredibly difficult hinge moment, that I needed to reach out and ask for help. And I'm so glad I did. I learned so much from my friend and counselor, Steve. He helped me through a very difficult time. I spent over 19 months in his office just learning from him and how to deal with that difficult time. But not only did I humble myself and ask for help, but number two, that I learned to get healthy. I learned to get healthy. As I just mentioned, I went through 19 months of professional counseling. And during that time, I learned about the concept of self-care. And self-care is simply taking time to take care of yourself. I learned that I needed to get healthy in every aspect of my life, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically. And so together with my counselor, we came up with a game plan. Larry, how are you going to handle getting through this time? So this is the plan that we came up with. I was going to get up at 5 a.m. every morning, and I was going to spend time reading my Bible and in prayer to get healthy spiritually. And then I was going to spend time uh, journaling and blogging to work through my mental and my emotional state, to get healthy in that area. And then finally, I was going to start eating better, and I was going to start exercising to get a hold of my physical body, to get that healthy, in order to handle the stress that I was going through. But not only did I get healthy in all of these areas, but finally, I learned to take the long way home. And what I mean by that statement is that there are no shortcuts on the journey through challenging life hinge moments. Change simply takes time. You know, our society, I liken it to microwave cooking, where our society is so fast-paced, when we cook our food, we want to just stick it in the microwave, press a couple buttons, wait a minute, and boom, zap, food is cooked. But in difficult times, we need to kind of step back and allow things to simmer, to marinate, to cook slowly. It's just like a crock pot cooking. If we, if we put the food in and we let it slowly heat up and the, the food simmers and it, it, it just takes hours to cook, but you know what? It's a better product on the other side. In the same way, going through difficult moments is going to take time. So just allow that time to pass as you learn and as you heal. This simple machine, the hinge, takes us from one place to another place. And it also makes us stronger than we actually are. In the same way, the hinge moments in our life have the potential to take us in a different, a better direction. And at the same time, it has the potential to make us stronger than we actually are. Now, I know in this room that some of us are going through our own difficult hinge moments even as I speak today. Can I just give you a word of encouragement today to embrace your hinge moment. Allow that hinge moment to change your life forever, to send you in a better direction than where you're at right now, and to empower you and make you 
a better person as a result. I know I can speak from my own experience where I have learned to humble myself and to get healthy and to learn patience as I've walked my own journey over the last five years. Embrace the power of your hinge moment and allow it to make you the person that you need to become today.